Welcome once again to Studio 6. And we're going to build another duck today. Let's start with our materials. This build takes 17 pieces. You can pause on the materials list or it will be posted on my Twitter feed. All right, well, let's get started with today's build. This is going to be a mallard duck. We'll start with the walnut brown, one tiny floor, followed by a one by one wedge of walnut. And like Duck 1.0, we've got the classic curve. We'll follow that up with a 1x2x1 wedge, which is what we use for the neck on a duck. And it goes right in front. The last tiny wedge will go in and we'll get that classic duck shape. The neck, the breast, the body, and the tailbone. All right, one more wedge will complete the shape of the duck. It'll go right here on the tail. And now it's time for the head. You're going to need another block to place the head correctly. So I'll duck over here to the swan build, borrow a block. Not a wedge, it needs to be a block. Line it up on the neck. There we go. Perfect. And now we can get the mallard neck band, which is going to be a tiny tile of birch white. Turn it. Slide it in off the tiny floor. And we'll put this block back with the swan where it goes. Now let's go get our trademark mallard head and it will fit right there on the white stripe. And there we go. This is definitely one of the more colorful ducks that you can put in a water feature or on your base. Put another tiny tile of green on top, extend the head. One gold wedge will again become the beak. You'll want to light it up at the middle of the two tiny tiles. White on bottom, green on top. There we go. Last white tiny tile of birch. You will turn and slide onto the tail. I do like to take a little bit of time and line up the green. You certainly don't have to. All right. We're ready for the wings. Now, this is where it differs from Duck 1.0. Instead of tiny tiles, we're actually going to use wedges. This is a one by three by one wedge. Definitely makes for a little more streamlined look. There we go. That way the wing pokes out the back a little bit. We'll duplicate it on the other side. And then we'll smooth out that rough ending on the front with a couple more tiny wedges. Flip it around until it mirrors the shape of the breast. Pop it in. And that's exactly what it's supposed to look like. Just a slight deviation from the breastbone. And there's the second one. All right, time for the feet. And just like Duck 1.0, depending on the placement, you can make the duck look like it is sitting, standing, 
taking a small step forward or actually walking. I like to put movement into my ducks, so this duck is going to walk. It's one foot forward and one foot in the very back. All right, there we have our male mallard. I'm going to put this one back to just standing before I move it over to the YouTube wall. Move that foot up to the front. Perfect. It should be on the wall next time for the next video. And there we have it. Duck 2.0, the mallard. So I've reset back to the beginning before the build to show you the female mallard, which I made earlier. It is the 2.0 style, and you can really tell the difference when it's next to the 1.0. The wings being the biggest difference. So anytime you see anything over here on the YouTube wall, there is a corresponding video. Once again, thank you for visiting Studio 6, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.